alert weather. Look at this majestic view. There have been a few light clouds, but that is Grand Teton National Park and the snow capped mountains. Yeah, we're into that seasonal change and the leaves are just beautiful. You get into some of the higher elevations. They've already peaked. I'll show you that map coming up here and let you see where the peak areas are. If you want to go see the leaves this weekend, 61 in Pocatello. It is sunny. We've got a light wind and uh, there may be a few clouds that show up. There may be some fog too into the mountains for uh, Jackson. Sunny right now at 55. Yeah, why don't you take that dump truck, take it on down and go ahead and fill it full of fun because we got a ton of sun around here for the weekend and days to come. It will be in the upper 60s for the afternoon, approaching 70 in some spots. We're going to cool down tonight into the 30s. You get ready for a yard sale tomorrow, or maybe you're just going camping, or you just want to go ride. It will be in the 70s for the weekend and continued warm. But these chilly nights let you know it is still fall around here. High pressure is in charge over the Pacific Northwest. And that means it's clear. You go back east, there's a cold front that is pushing across the Appalachian Mountains into the upstate of South Carolina and across Washington and the Richmond, north of Richmond. But around here, on the back half of the country, the left side of the world, it's going to be warm into the southwest and it will be uh, bright and you'll have a just a nice set of days around here. It's a shame we can't time this out a little better and I, I keep saying that but we get these areas of low pressure and they sit on top of us for two or three days. We can't get the construction done and we get muck and water and you can't finish harvest and then you get a long stretch of nice days and they happen over the weekend which is what you would normally request but I know there are a lot of folks that would like to get the work done during the week. 66 and catch them for the afternoon, it'll be 70 in Stanley, warmer back west into Boise at 59 into West Yellowstone. We're looking at upper 60s, pushing 70 into Pocatello at Lookout Park there in the middle of the city. 62 in Driggs at 64 under the Antlers for the afternoon in Jackson. It'll be 65 and you know, Lava Hot Springs is having Oktoberfest. There'll be Lederhosen and Guten Tags everywhere. That, that means good evening. right? Uh, 41 in Chalice, 40 in Salmon, 25 tonight in West Yellowstone, and we're looking at upper 30s. So high pressures over the top of us. We don't have, any, we don't have a blanket. We don't have a binky. You're going to have to find somebody to love or get the dogs in the bed because it's going to be below freezing tonight in Jackson. There may be some frost. We've seen that already. And you get back into western, uh, well, the center of Wyoming. <clears throat> Pardon me. And you'll have a freeze watch. It's in effect. So it's going to be in the mid 30s tonight for Grace and down around Preston, about 39 degrees. We're sitting right now at lunchtime with this beautiful Carolina blue sky and 56 in Ledor, 60 in Dubois. We've got the, the 60s approaching for the afternoon, and that's where we'll peak at about seven more, eight more degrees. And then the winds are, well, they're five to 10 miles an hour. So things look good around here. Vipercast really doesn't show anything. I want to take you into next week, though, because after some sunny days and chilly nights, the next storm season. System, we begin to see a push from it on into Monday night for the Central Mountains, and there may be some winter weather with that. There may be some scattered light showers, and I'm flying really high up into the atmosphere. So some of this may not make it to the ground, but I wanted to let you know where the moisture is coming from and when it will start to show up on radar. And so we'll keep track of this, but it's important that you download the weather app too, because there may be some mountain winter effects and some showers in the forecast. The winds are going to remain just like they should. We'll see some more breezes into IF because this is where the action is, people. And you'll see calm winds basically through the rest of the weekend. It will be bright today in mid 60s from Afton to Soda and Montpelier, 70 in Preston. We're looking at 50s into the parks, close to 60 there in Jackson, with 30 overnight. And we slam the sunshine into the 70s for salmon. It will be in the upper 60s for most of us today. 66 at the home of television and Rigby, Idaho. Eight day forecast watch the temperatures climb. And the excitement level builds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fall. At its, oh well, not really its best, we're, we're going to be warmer than we should be, which is a no-no. Don't be abnormal because Tuesday and Wednesday we get slammed with that front and we take the temperature down about 20 degrees. Blackfoot's going to be in the upper 60s, close to 70, and it will be in the 30s overnight. So good, cuddling, cozy, comfort food weather. 64 in Jackson, but there may be some mountain fog and uh, there'll be a foggy mountain breakdown probably. And close to 69 degrees in the Sunday and Monday. Look at this, mid-70s for Pocatello. Just take the next four days and put it on repeat, will you? Uh, will you take the next four days and put it on repeat, will you? 67 in Idaho Falls will be in the lower 70s for Sunday. And I'm, I'm glad we get to come back on Monday to a nice day.
Nice. All right, thank you, Jeff. Coming up.